Since the James Webb Telescope commenced its mission, a thought-provoking question has arisen. Could we have overlooked a fundamental truth about the universe? For a considerable period, concepts such as the Big Bang and other foundational principles of physics have formed the basis of our comprehension of the cosmos. However, recent findings are putting these theories to the test. Are we at a juncture where we need to fundamentally revise our perspective on the universe and our place within it? Let's embark on a journey together, delving into the origins of the cosmos and exploring potential significant revisions in the field of natural science. In July 2023, NASA unveiled a fresh image of ancient galaxies, and when scientists initially estimated the age of these primordial galaxies, they were met with incredulity. According to their calculations, these galaxies are astonishingly ancient, to the point where they shouldn't even exist at the far reaches of the universe. The initial hypothesis that arose was the possibility that nearby galaxies might appear as though they were distant ones. But after extensive worldwide scrutiny, all scientists reached the same verdict. These galaxies are genuine, devoid of any anomalies. The conclusion drawn by astronomers is that the light from these galaxies has been traveling to Earth for over 13.4 billion years, indicating their existence when the universe was a mere 350 million years old. What's causing a scientific conundrum is not just their age, but also their immense size, intricate structure, and a profusion of stars that outshines contemporary galaxies. The perplexing issue is that, based on prior calculations, during this early stage of the universe, only the rudimentary prototypes of galaxies should have been in existence. Scientists had envisioned that approximately 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, the initial stars formed, eventually evolving into galaxies. Therefore, they anticipated discovering galaxies in the new images captured by the James Webb Telescope that would be either small, disordered, dim, or that would provide insights into an early developmental stage. However, the reality is akin to someone showing you photographs from a time when a particular individual was still an infant. And upon closer examination, you realize that this individual was already an adult. It's a baffling revelation, akin to double-checking the date on the pictures, or in the case of digital photos, meticulously verifying the date of capture. If everything checks out, you'd be left with a perplexed expression. And this is precisely the scenario that astronomers worldwide find themselves in. There is something amiss with the current astronomical and cosmological paradigm, and researchers are currently grappling with this enigma, uncertain about its nature. Now you likely grasp the critical importance of verifying whether these galaxies indeed represent the early universe, and whether the depicted images and age assessments are accurate. If they prove to be authentic, it would either be a remarkable revelation or an error in the calculations proposed by physicists who have advanced long-standing theories like the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe. In the first place, this discovery underscores the significance of the time and resources invested in the James Webb Telescope. If we've adhered to a theory for a century that is fundamentally flawed, it's time to reevaluate and unearth the truth. Initially, researchers meticulously examined all the redshift values. Astronomers employ redshift as a measure for vast cosmic distances. Over billions of years, the light's wavelength stretches due to the universe's expansion. The longer the light's journey, the more it shifts toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum, a phenomenon referred to as redshift. Greater redshift values correspond to objects farther away and older in cosmic terms. Simply put, Redshift serves as a cosmic yardstick, indicating that early galaxies should exhibit high redshifts. In a groundbreaking collaborative effort, the world's premier observatories were united for a unique project. They jointly trained their gaze once more towards these seemingly impossible galaxies and confirmed that James Webb's observations were accurate. Redshift values in the range of 16 to 20z were validated, affirming that these six galaxies are indeed as ancient as originally posited. Now the very underpinnings of our cosmological understanding are shaking, and the implications remain uncertain. We must patiently await further developments. The presence of these ancient galaxies will likely spur the development of yet more advanced telescopes in the near future, capable of peering even further back in time than the James Webb Telescope. 
However, it's also possible that Webb itself may provide further revelations. The telescope has only been operational for a year, and its capabilities may not have been fully explored yet. Even the Hubble telescope, long considered obsolete, managed to deliver a couple of cosmic miracles, such as the discovery of Arendelle, the oldest single star ever recorded. The Big Bang Theory, which posits the origin of the universe some 13.8 billion years ago based on established principles of physics and astronomy, has long served as the foundation for understanding the evolution of the early universe. However, recent discoveries challenge these long-standing ideas. It's important to note that in the realm of cosmology and astrophysics, not everything necessarily aligns perfectly with mathematical calculations. These fields have yet to fully describe all observed phenomena. For instance, even though Einstein couldn't mathematically model the entire cosmos, many of his computational predictions turned out to be consistent with reality. He theorized the existence of black holes based solely on mathematics and physics, well before they were empirically confirmed. The Big Bang Theory was, to a high degree, consistent with the well-established physical principles derived from Einstein's theory of relativity. Nevertheless, our understanding of the universe remains incomplete, and it's entirely possible that there are additional variables and previously unknown phenomena at play. Particularly intriguing in this context are the enigmatic aspects of dark matter, which have been relatively unexplored thus far, as well as the intricacies of quantum mechanics. These recent developments present an opportunity for some researchers to explore new avenues of understanding. However, for others, these findings have created confusion and reluctance to depart from long-standing convictions. They had been confident that they were on the verge of completing the cosmic puzzle. But now, the existence of these six ancient galaxies appears to be poking holes in the previously held picture of the early universe, prompting a re-evaluation of our cosmological understanding. The ripples caused by the discovery of the six perplexing galaxies had barely settled when NASA's Twitter announcement once again sent shockwaves through the conservative corners of the natural sciences. This time, a galaxy cluster with seven galaxies was identified sporting a redshift of 7.9, indicating that this cluster existed a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang. For all the scientists who may have held on to the hope that the recent revelations were due to some potential error, this finding was another jolt. Consider it akin to looking at a wedding photo of someone you believed was unmarried. Such a discovery would undoubtedly sow confusion and doubt, causing you to question not only your perception, but also the nature of the world itself. Galaxy clusters are collections of individual galaxies, and the fact that they formed so early, a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang, suggests that the universe had already matured far more rapidly than previously thought during its supposed infancy. So, what does all of this mean for our worldview and cosmology? Firstly, it's essential to acknowledge that the Big Bang Theory was never definitively proven, despite the belief held by many to the contrary. While the theory did hold up mathematically, it left many fundamental questions unanswered. It could never definitively explain why our universe came into being, what existed before it, whether the universe is finite or infinite, or what triggered the initial event. Additionally, the Big Bang theory appears to run counter to another fundamental law of physics, the second law of thermodynamics, which posits that in a closed system, disorder tends to increase over time. If the universe originated from a highly ordered state, as the Big Bang theory suggests, it seems to contradict this law by implying an evolution toward greater disorder. However, if the Big Bang theory is proven incorrect, it does not necessarily mean that all established physical principles are mistaken. For example, Einstein's equations of general and special relativity did not invalidate Newton's law of gravity. They expanded upon it and placed it within a broader cosmic context. Newton's laws still apply in many everyday situations, and Einstein's theories provide a deeper understanding of gravity in the context of the cosmos. In conclusion, the field of cosmology is continuously evolving and new discoveries challenge our existing paradigms. Whether one finds comfort in the idea of a definite beginning and end, or prefers the notion of an infinite universe with endless possibilities, is a matter of personal perspective and philosophical inclination.
The beauty of science lies in its ability to push the boundaries of our understanding and inspire contemplation about the nature of the universe.